Today is the 5th January 2019 and the first day after the tropical storm Pabuk, the worst storm since decades, hit Thailand. Got quite high water today. See that? Normally the water is somewhere over there. That's the place where I filmed the last video. And yeah, normally we don't have the waves clashing against this wall. There is supposed to be beach. And there you can see some of the parts of the wall thingy. That's completely underwater. Woo! Shit. Let's get out of here. Good morning. It's one day later, 6th January. Let's see how the water looks. That's looking good. No high tide anymore. It's nice. My original idea for this vlog was to kind of expose what the media did all wrong because media coverage really was a mess. I realized that I had completely the wrong intention to do that. Yeah, that was smart. I just turned the camera off without any transition, so here you go. Probably can tell that we didn't really have much of a storm here. This is because of different reasons. Well, having breakfast and I'll clear this up immediately, all right? Two days prior to the storm, I got a message from my friend Phil that said, hey, there's something coming, watch out. We checked everything online and it looked like the storm wouldn't reach us, but it would hit the south and we got friends that would stay in the south. One couple in Krabi, another couple in Kosamui, which were the areas where the storm was supposed to do the most damage. The next day we got worried messages from our parents and I got even more worried what would happen to cats, what would happen to our friends, what would happen to all those people we met about three years ago when we also traveled the area in the south. And, and what maybe would happen if the storm would actually hit us because it's nature, it might just turn direction any time, you know? What, what would happen to the people in the village we're currently living in? I, I couldn't find sleep that night, I just... So the next day... I kept on checking the media coverage. The media was just still claiming that it would be the worst storm in decades. How do you expect people to not react panicking when you're only putting out disinformation and... So I kept on worrying. It didn't seem that bad, but media still claimed it would be horrible, it would be the worst. And here is what actually happened. Und gestern war es, war es ruhig. Ganz normaler Tag. Es regnet jetzt halt auch immer noch. Es ist aber jetzt kein Starkregen oder so. Es ist jetzt. Regen. Also, es ist für die ein ganz normaler Tag, wo es halt einfach nur regnet. Man bekommt da nicht so das Gefühl, als wenn jetzt in den nächsten Stunden ein Tropensturm kommen soll. Also, ich kann es überhaupt nicht einschätzen. Die Satellitenbilder, die man sieht, das sieht alles super beängstigend aus. Es ist halt so ein bisschen. Panik macht. Ja. Wo man dann danach schaut, steht überall das Gleiche drin. Es, es hilft uns aber auch gerade keiner, das halt besser einschätzen zu können. Ganz besonders hart, finde ich, trifft es auch die Leute, die jetzt halt auf Kusamui oder Kopangan festhängen. So as you can see, everything turned out fine. Not only for our friends, but I mean, yes, of course, there are damages, there were floods and blackouts and yes, but it wasn't that worst storm of decades that was predicted by the media. But I was still down to do that rant, you know, to tear off on media, to expose everything that went wrong, that they did wrong, that they right wrong. And just at the end of the day, I realized that I was only trying to do that because I personally 
felt hurt. And instead of being grateful and celebrating that everything went fine, I was just angry and I don't want to do that. This channel is about positivity, about sharing happiness. So here you go, I share the rest of my day with you. And you know what? It's gonna be awesome. Hello? Focus? Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Okay, time to, I don't know, is it lunch time? Yeah. Something like that. Change shirts for the third time now. Hope it doesn't get too confusing at this point, but we're doing our laundry. And funny enough, the laundry lady is the sister of the owner of our bungalow, of our host, which Kat talked to today, and now we apparently have a little cooking session in the evening. Karate cup. See you later. No plastic, yeah, okay. perfect, perfect. Thank you. Cup con cup. See that? that? That's laundry. And that's our most favorite restaurant just right around the corner. Let's get in there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, <laughs> I'm stuffed. We're doing some grocery shopping for that, uh, for that, you, you know, that cooking thing in the evening. I forgot my glasses, so the cat has to drive us home. And that's how it looks during low tide. That's the wall thing I wanted to show you is the rest of it. It is fascinating to me how different this day feels just by shifting the focus from this cut up, messed up, blaming mindset to positivity. I mean, yes, of course, the storm got some people. This doesn't change the fact that whatever happens, however the situation is, you will not feel better about it just by being mad, just by being driven by negativity. That will not build up anything you can work with. That will not help you in any kind of way. Positivity, on the other hand, will just push you to do and move forward. Like, it is crazy what I got done today. I, I feel like everything I missed out yesterday, I'm getting done today. I'm even putting the workout in now. It's just an awesome day and I... Hope you guys who've been through the storm are feeling the same now. I'm happy you're alright. Hope to see you one day again. Gotta finish the workout now. And go. Sorry, you're not watching this sun. Is it a little cooking party? <laughs> <laughs> so we got the dinner thing happening here. And I got one more thing for you guys. Hang in there. This whole thing has just been such a lesson, you know, getting cut up about something, getting anxious and angry about something that actually never happened. And yet, there are people all around the world that have survived natural disasters and the worst kind of scenarios you, I or someone can imagine. These people out there who just immediately get back up, left with nothing, are true heroes and idols for me. Wanted to share this one.